your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. It was another unseasonably cool and fall like start to your Tuesday out there with wake up numbers in the 50s and 60s. By the afternoon, though, it's going to shape up to be a very comfortably warm day. Highs around 80 by the beaches, 80 to 82 degrees inland. Plenty of sunshine, little breeze picking up every once in a while. Lots of sunshine overhead. Definitely a gorgeous day to be out and about and enjoying this dry weather. Look at all the dry air that's in place across the Carolinas, even in through the northern edges of Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, and extending west. A lot of tropical moisture, though, down to the south, trying to press its way to the north. High pressure remains in control through the end of the week. It will be drifting a little further to the east, so the moisture in the atmosphere does go up a little bit. That will increase the humidity, but overall plenty of sunshine and pleasant conditions out there. Nothing unbearably hot or humid through the end of the week. The weekend, we have a big change coming our way, though. A cold front trying to head its way into the southeast will increase the humidity out there, making it feel a little bit hotter for us as the temps only bump up a few more degrees out ahead of that front. Our rain chances, though, staying around zero through the end of the week and only a slight chance coming in for your weekend, about a 20% chance on Saturday and Sunday. Tropics, yeah, they're getting a little active and staying active. Leslie is now heading into Newfoundland. Michael has weakened and we have a new wave we're watching very closely. That wave, though, certainly whether it de develops into a tropical depression or even tropical storm Nadine, you can see the forecast models continue to take it out to sea. So your Grand Strand seven day forecast has nothing tropical out there for us. Low 80s for highs through Thursday, mid 80s for the end of the week and the weekend with a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm Saturday and Sunday with a few more clouds. Those wake up numbers, though, that fall like start we had out there today. We'll be out there again tomorrow, but we do start to warm up a little bit for those morning numbers into the middle and upper 60s by the end of the week and for the weekend with a little more moisture in the atmosphere. Inland areas going from the low 80s today and tomorrow into the mid 80s for the rest of the week and through the weekend. Those wake up temps in the middle and upper 50s come to an end on Thursday morning. By Friday, we're waking up in the mid to low 60s. So enjoy this nice crisp fall air that we have in place as the humidity will be back on the rise by the end of the week and the weekend and the rain chances do return. So have yourself a fantastic Tuesday and remember you could always get your latest news, weather and tropical updates on your website, carolinalive.com.